Do you ever hit a roadblock when coming up with prompts for Stable Diffusion or Mid Journey? Today I'm going to show you how to use a different AI to get through that roadblock. And that AI is called ChatGPT. So join me on this glorious journey today. All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to use ChatGPT to do either better prompts or to help you out when you're having a bit of a stumbling block and have writer's block, right? So the first thing we're gonna talk about today is what is ChatGPT? So ChatGPT is an incredibly powerful language model. Um, other than trying to be a chatbot that sounds completely human, it can learn things. Um, it can remember the things you said in past conversations. You can reference back to things in that current conversation. But um, a lot of people have gotten very nifty with writing prompts for it that make it do things that are way outside of the scope of what it's supposed to do, right? So you can see here in the examples that they put on their own website that um, it can write code. Uh, most of the code isn't very good. It's very spaghetti-ish, not, not super well written, but it's code nonetheless. And that's pretty incredible, right? All right, guys, I saw a post on Reddit that showed us a pretty useful prompt for ChatGPT that helps us, you know, have the chat itself give us prompt ideas. Um, I went ahead and modified it to fit the standards that I had set up in my other video about prompting. If you haven't seen that yet, you can see that up there by pressing that icon right now. And take a look at that video, guys. So it's kind of what I based this on. I'm gonna allow you guys to read this really quick. I'm gonna scroll through it really quick. You guys can pause so you can read it. So right here we're showing, we're telling it that we want it to give us prompts and we're giving it examples, right? So it can learn. So the first one is the concept of a portrait and fashion model shot on film. So we go ahead and we do these things based on the prompting video that I did. Um, the next prompt is the, an illustration of a 1960s diner. Next prompt is painting of a soldier. So it's a Flemish painting. Okay, so let's let's see. It's already accepted the order. Um, let's do a. Then prompt for a dog running on a sunny beach. Okay, so it's it's giving us these kind of things and I, I should have specified like a painting or a photo so that automatically thought it, it wanted to do a, a photo, right? So let's do give me options, but make it a painting of a dog. With a watercolor painting of a Labrador Retriever. So this one gets a little verbose here. Look at that. But it, it, it's kind of getting the gist. Um, last time I ran this, it, it got way better of... It was a little bit better. I think I wrote the prompts a little better. But um, it's still getting the gist of it, right? Like this This will work. Okay, let's do a, let's do a photograph this time. So, give fashion at a An accessory like a hat or a pair of earrings. She's like activating and holding a drink. I'll put a foot in front of her. Vita's supposed to get a lot of subgrades in black. This, this would work. This would work. It's a little verbose. Um, so we're going to say, uh, give me three options. So 
it's, it's, it's working its magic. Um, I'm decently pleased with this. We're obviously going to have to get in there a little bit and change the prompt a little bit, but this is good enough. So it's following the kind of statement of like, oh, well, it's a medium, it's a thing, and then it gives you all the details of the thing, right? Yeah, so for me, this is good enough. Um, the last time I ran this, I felt like it came out a little better, so you might want to run this two or three times on different conversations. But yeah, this this works out for me. This works out. Let's get a little more specific on what we want. So we want a portrait of Precise with sharp edges and bold lines. Focus on new. Let's see. New concept. So instead of an anime style portrait counter, let's do a manga style. I want to see what it can do when it has that limitation of black and black and white. Let's see if it even knows that it has that limitation, right? A manga style portrait. Uh, gaze. If I was meeting some dude with lots of grays and blacks, I'm just give me it's very close. Give me three options. Oh, there we go. Shonen manga portrait of Keanu Reeves. Featuring him in an action pose, possibly wielding a weapon or performing a martial arts move. This allows his characters by bold lines, dynamic action scenes, and focus on the main character's physical strength and abilities. A Sienin style manga portrait. I have no clue what that even means, by the way. Featuring him more contemplative. Oh, that's like the sad Keanu. We can we can prop the sad Keanu. We're gonna do that right now. Before we get started on putting these in here, um, I'm going to show you guys how to modify the prompt that it gave us. So the first one was the dog, yeah? So here we go. I'm going to go through this live so you guys can see it. So I photograph of a golden retriever running through the waves on a sunny beach. That's fine. Put a comma here. The dog is playful and energetic. So here we just want to do playful and energetic. The sand and the water are in motion, creating a sense of movement. This one is just motion blur. Right, so we can do motion blur, comma instead of a period. The sunlight is bright and creates a warm inviting atmosphere, so this one is just warm atmosphere. The composition is balanced. So we just put balanced. Composition. With the dog being the main focus. So we can just put focused. Subject. Put on film. Gonna put film grain here. No clue why I chose Ansel Adams for this, or Sally Mann, or Richard Avedon. Um, though, like I said, the last time I ran it, it kind of would choose photographers that are in that genre or painters that are in that genre. But um, I guess something got lost in translation this run. Like I said, if it doesn't give you great results the first time you run it, just keep running it in different conversations until you get what you want, right? All right, guys, so I'm going to run these and then I'll report back once they're done. All right, guys, and here are the results that we got. 
So this is the first one. It's the photograph of the golden retriever. Um, these aren't half bad. I like this one. Um, not a huge fan of these other ones. Here is the watercolor painting, right? Um, these don't really look too much like watercolors, so maybe not that great of a prompt. Um, the oil painting, uh, I'm actually like this. I think this one with some refinement could look really good. Um, I do like that it's doing a lot of silhouetted stuff. So there's, there's some hope there yet, right? Here is the um, watercolor painting of the fashionable woman. Oh man, this one with some refining would look really good. Um, I'm also feeling that this one has a lot of potential. This one looks pretty good as is. Uh, so does this one. So overall, I'm happy with these three. Um, this is the, the gouache painting. Um, not, not the style of gouache that I do, so I couldn't really judge these, right? Here's the anime Keanu. I, I did a really good job on these, actually. I love this one, man. It looks like it's going to be someone's uh, profile picture there soon enough. Um, this one's actually pretty nice as well. Here is the manga Keanu, or shonen style manga portrait of Keanu Reeves wielding a weapon. Uh, this one, he's like a lawyer with a weapon. Um, I don't really get Keanu out of any of these except for this one. Like this one, he looks like he's, you know, straight out of Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Um, and here we have a, I guess I didn't understand what Sienin is, right? Just gave us normal photos of Keanu. So I went back and kind of modified the prompt a little bit. I said, well, instead of doing this prompt here, we can do this prompt here and I'm kind of trying to teach it to, you know, not ever use periods in the prompts, you know, be a little bit less verbose. And yeah, we're going to run another quick set of these and we'll see what we come up with. Right, guys? Guys, now that we've refined the model a little bit and kind of showed it, you know, who's who and what's what. And you can keep doing this a lot, by the way. And like I said, sometimes it doesn't work as great. Uh, the last time I ran this, it worked way better than this time. But unfortunately, since they're updating the website, I can't really get into that old conversation. But like I said, if it doesn't work the first time like super well, you can keep running it right and on a different conversation and hope for the bus. All right, guys, and here are the results of those prompts. Obviously, I haven't cherry picked any of these and they could be much better, right? We can still work them and whatnot. But um, this is the Betty Page one. I actually really like this one. Look at that. That's beautiful. Another Betty Page set. We've got the X-Men and Pointillism. This isn't quite Pointillism, but they are in the Savage Land. Um, this one's Pointillism. It's just not very good Pointillism. Here's the comic book style art of Dominic Toretto. Like, it's got a little badass over here. Look at that. This one's actually pretty cool. Same with this one. Um, we've got Dominic Toretto here. It was that comic book style. This one's comic booked up, but it doesn't look very good. Um, this is the anime Shaggy. But she looks pretty hilarious here. If, if we could refine the face, that would look pretty good. Um, the same with this one. Here's the 1950s Batman movie stills. I think a lot of these are begging for like custom uh, CKPTs. But uh, we don't want to go that far in this video because this video is not about that, right? It's just about setting up the bot. Got Wolverine inside the Savage Land. And the last one I did was Betty Page with a, a custom model. And yeah, she looks great in these. Like this one's very cool. Like I love this one. Just put a little foam grain on that and you're good to go. All right, guys. Well, that has been the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to all the super goofy things that YouTubers tell you. This has been the Cardinal King out.